human brain includes a forebrain made of two hemispheres, almost symmetrical, left and right, and a diencephalon, a medial and single part that includes the thalamus and the hypothalamus. The two cerebral hemispheres are connected by commissural pathways. The largest is the corpus callosum. It contains more than 200 million nerve fiber crossing from one side to the other. Each cerebral hemisphere is divided into two distinct regions. A peripheral part, the cortex or gray matter, that contains the bodies of nerve cells. And the central part, made of white matter, that contains the axonal extensions of neurons and their myelin sheath. Each hemisphere is cut by deep fissures that define lobes. The first is the lateral sulcus, or sylvian fissure, where lies the middle cerebral artery. It separates the frontal lobe from the temporal lobe. The second is the central sulcus or fissure of Rolando between the frontal lobe and the parietal lobe. The third sulcus is the parietal occipital sulcus, separating the occipital lobe from the temporal and parietal lobes. Not to mention a fifth lobe, non-visible on the surface, the lobe of the insula, found by removing the sylvian fissure. In each lobe, there are less deep sulci, delimiting the ridges on the cerebral cortex surface. Each of these is called a gyrus. <laughs>